Serving the patients of Chase Farm Hospital. This, this is Radio Enfield. It's Radio Enfield. Radio Enfield, a hospital broadcasting service run by volunteers to brighten the days of patients of Chase Farm Hospital. The North London Hospital has a surprising number of patients who don't have any day-to-day visitors, so Radio Enfield plays a wide variety of music to make their time in hospital seem less boring. A surprising number of people are needed to keep the charitable organisation running on a daily basis. One of the key people is the station manager. Hi, I'm uh, Andy and I am the station manager for my sins. I do all the administrative type functions, look after the, the committee of Radio Enfield and uh, delegate everything to those people who do a wonderful job for me. There is a vast array of computing and sound equipment needed to keep the service running. All of this needs someone to look after it. Well, my role at Radio Enfield is the station engineer, so I sort of make sure that we stay on air as much as possible mm-hmm. and uh, that uh, we keep going and move about as we have to change buildings as sometimes happens. There are over 10,000 tracks in the record library to suit any musical taste. To find out what the patients really want to hear, volunteers go around the wards to chat directly to the patients. Well, I'm one of the request collectors, which means that I go round once a week to two or three wards, visiting the patients, having a chat, finding out what sort of music they'd like to listen to. The final link in the chain is to play those requests. It requires a selfless individual with the right motivation to provide the service free for the patients. There are people in hospital who aren't very well and if I can give up an hour or two of my time once a week and make them feel a bit better, then it's good. Sorry, I've just got to get back and uh, do a link. Behind the scenes, a lot more goes into hospital radio than meets the eye. Funding for over £1,000 is needed every year to keep Radio Enfield on the air and this has to be raised by the volunteers themselves. Without all of this effort, Radio Enfield would not be able to live up to its motto of giving the patients a real tonic.